All right, that was the rest of my geisha. So now Arturo is going to give you a, an update on how to do some of the regular coffee um, in the Clever Dripper as well, because it is a little bit different process. So it'd be good for you to know that, and Arturo wanted you to know as well. That way, um, you know, you get the best flavor again out of the coffee that you're buying. Very good. So um, we just brewed some some geisha, and it's going to be a similar process with this one. This is the I wouldn't say regular. I would say more traditional. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, process and a, a little bit of a darker roast, um, more medium, medium dark roast. Um, not for U.S. standards, definitely, but <laughs> yeah, more of a medium dark roast. And this time around, we're going to do a little bit um, more. We're going to use 30 grams of coffee and. We're gonna do because this is this is more of an everyday coffee. The capacity of this clever, I don't know your clever at home, but the capacity of this one is around 500 grams of water. So if we do the numbers, if we do the math, um, this 30 grams um, of coffee, uh, we can do we can definitely do about 450 grams of water, not a full capacity. Why am I doing only 30? Because this little grinder that I have here doesn't hold much more. See, I'm using 30 grams and it's maxed out, <laughs> right? So mm -hmm. I want to, um, to um, do as much as I can. Yet, I'm going to set it a little bit, a little bit lighter, uh, finer. For this one, we were on 23, so I'm going back to 22, 21. So two steps. If you have a different grinder, just think about doing it a little bit finer than the one you were doing for the geisha. And we can grind our way down. There you go, there you go. Now yes. for someone just getting a grinder, probably a good thing for them to do would be get some some really kind of bad coffee and test their grinder out yeah. with that first? Yeah, well, and then clean the blades, or, or the, not the blades, the burrs. Okay. Just clean the burrs uh, very well. This this one comes with a little, um, this, this is not kind of facing. A little brush. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a little brush to, for you to brush out the bad coffee out. Yeah, but this one definitely goes a little smoother, not so much resistance because it's a little bit of a darker roast. And, it's going to be easier. So we have 30 grams here. It's more than our previous um, 18 grams for the geisha because we want to make more. And remember, see, it's at full capacity as well. Mm -hmm. The container. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. It's mm, fresh. See? Good stuff. Yeah. This is this is you know, how you. Get rid of the old flavor of the coffee mm -hmm. for the new one. Now we're gonna do. We're gonna go uh, the same way with our filter. We have to when it's hot. We have to pre-infuse it. Um, but I'm thinking that this coffee for 30 grams, we better do 400 grams of water. So it, it has a little bit more power. Mm -hmm. um, and they can adjust that based on the flavor that they choose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I mean, if you, if you feel it's too strong, just to 450, mm -hmm. uh, and you feel it's too weak, go to 400 or 380, and, mm -hmm. and so on. Just play, just play with that. Um, and if you don't have a scale at home, because uh, in the previous recipe, we went all the way with the scale. We said, okay, 100 grams. Um, I, I would say just go, just wet the grounds enough so they're all wet and wait 40 seconds you can use your your timer your your clock your watch stopwatch and then uh, fill it three quarters of the way that way if you don't have a scale you won't go over the, mm -hmm. the what you want just to be on the same page we are again pre-wetting the filter don't forget otherwise it's gonna have that papery bleachy flavor that we don't want a little bit of water this one, I'm going to set the temperature a little bit lower to 88, okay. 195 height. And yeah, rinse my filter all the way. Okay, very good. 
ready. Now we have the water, we have our 30 grams mm -hmm. of coffee. Oh, see? 30, 30.1. Flat out the bed and reset our timer, uh, tear our scale down. And this one is much easier. This one is just pouring the hot water all the way to 400 grams uh, or a little bit above halfway through. Let's see. No pre-infusion. No pre-infusion. This is, this is easier. Just start our timer and boom. You're there about That's some fresh coffee, right? When you see those gas bubbles. Yeah, always fresh. Fresh is better. Oh, more than 80%, about 90% of the capacity of the clutter. Yeah, pretty close. So, yeah. And then we will just wait uh, for three minutes uh, for all the infusion to happen there. This is more similar to, uh, to the coffee process. That, okay. that way you can just go ahead and smell the surface of the of the filter and this way uh, we will have a, a, a smaller or a, a shorter rate ratio maybe a 13.5 to 1 or 13 to 1 for a stronger uh, cup of coffee let's uh, make the most out of our time and pre-rinse our carafe or, cup or whatever you're putting it cup. into yep. yeah if you're just going to uh, drip it on your cup. A lot of people have big mugs in the States, right? Like 16 ounce yeah. mugs, 20, uh, the famous uh, Starbucks Venti is uh, 20, 20 ounce, right? Mm -hmm. So no need to stir it or anything like that? Anything like that. Okay. We'll just leave it over there. Um, you can smell it once in here and there. Oh, it's good. Smell it, Pastor. Go ahead. Ooh, it smells good. You can tell it's a darker roast. Yeah, just yeah. by the smell. Rather, rather mm -hmm. than our geisha, previous um, brew with the geisha. Mm -hmm. And um, you can start reading your scriptures uh, or looking for your Bible verse uh, to learn for the next uh, prayer <laughs> request service or you know something you want to share in those uh, three minutes. And once it's ready, just have a spoon. It doesn't need to be a special spoon, just uh, any spoon from the kitchen um, to break it. You've done the cupping process before. Mm -hmm. So this is pretty much like the cupping process. Um, if you see, it's the same mechanics, just having the cup, adding hot water, and letting it rise to the top. So you can enjoy also the breaking of the cup. That is, uh, that is what I found for this traditional wash more um it's better to be better so once that's done let's uh this is over here c257 uh go ahead you can break it up i can break it yeah okay that way i can get you all right i'll just go ahead and sacrifice mm -hmm. for you you know at home stir it and just praise the Lord for his creation and for the hands that roasted this coffee and that put it in the bag and let it come my way yes all right and in three minutes 30 seconds we'll just do the same and drip since this is a little bit more coffee and a little bit more water we're not too concerned about going over four minutes okay. of brewing time okay Okay, that's, that's the trick. The, the amount of coffee or the ratio that you're using, it's relative to the brewing time at the end because that way it won't be over extracted. It's just gonna go over four minutes, maybe closer to four minutes and 30 seconds. So it's about 45 seconds more than the other one. Mm -hmm. But remember we have more coffee and we have more water. So that's gonna be See, it's ready. It works out. It's four minutes and 20 seconds now in my timer. It's gone. Mm -hmm. And now, 
although Pastor Stan said he doesn't want to drink anymore because he's um, copied out for the day, I'm going to give him just a little sip. All right. Okay. I'm not copied out for the day. Okay. For the... I'll be having more coffee. But... All right. All right. There you go. Thank it's you, a, sir. It's a small, it's a small cup. And this Perfect. is Cheers. for my wife. This is for my wife. It's always a good thing to make it for your wife. Yeah, yeah, don't forget. Don't forget about your wife. Yes. Um, well, thank you so much. We love you and thank you for your support and for um, sharing with us about this journey and supporting, especially um, praying for the people that work in the coffee farms, you know, Panamanian people. Uh, we, we really care and we need your prayers over here. God bless you.